Hi guys and welcome back to Adam's Aquatics. In today's video I'm going to be talking to you about the difference between epistochromas. So how I see things is, is that I have seven different varieties in my fish room. Uh, a few are very similar and a few are very different. So I'm going to go into the differences between all of them and how similar they are between each other. Epistochroma clavitoides. Now these guys are probably the easiest to care for, the easiest to breed uh, and actually probably the ones that I would start with if I was starting with epistochromas. Um, that's what I did uh, and where I am now. So, um, the difficulties with these guys is, is that I find that the males, this guy down here, he's hiding from me since I put, his cam put the camera in his face. Uh, this guy down here, um, he would predate on the um, fry, so that means he will eat the fry. Um, and that's different to other epistochromas, which I'll go into later. Um, I find that the females really, really take care of the fry really, really well. Um, and that's pretty much it for these guys. Very simple, very easy to look after. Uh, and they would be the ones that I'd recommend to any newcomer to uh, epistogramas. They are very similar to the uh, epistogramma uh, Inca 50 or Benchite. You can see that they both have very similar um, raised uh, dorsal fins, or a bit like a Mohican. Um, and actually they're very, very similar to look after. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. And as you can see, they have a very similar head shape and um, very pointy um, and actually uh, I haven't had a female for this guy yet, but um, I'd imagine that spoiling them will be very similar um, because they're pretty similar uh, in the way that I care for them. So again, very easy, very easy to care for. And actually I find these guys um, very, very straightforward. So brand new to the fish room today are um, my epistogramma uh, black chin. Um, now these guys, that's a, a common name for them. Um, they are in the Kikatoides family. Um, again, they seem to be very easy to take care of um, and very straightforward. Um, and actually, as you can see, they have that very similar uh, raised uh, Mohegan-like um, fin. This is the male uh, and the females down there. And um, these guys are actually in tap water, so um, very easy care requirements. Um, and I think these guys, once they get going in the fish room, will be great. Um, I'm going to care for these guys exactly the same as I care for my Kakatoides, uh, and that's my plan when it comes to these guys. So those first three, very, very similar, um, pretty similar care requirements, and actually really easy to look after. So I'm going to go on to some that uh, I find a little bit more difficult now. So this is my uh, Epistogram of Master Eye. Um, I have uh, different varieties of this guy in the fish room. Um, they're also very similar to Vieja, which I shall show you, but I've also had one of those. Um, water, really straightforward and very easy to take care of. Um, breeding them, on the other hand, I find that much more difficult with these guys. Um, they're not as prolific, um, and the uh, batches of fry are a bit smaller, but actually um, they take care of the fry a lot better. So, um, whereas with Kakatoides, I will always find if I don't catch the fry out, all of the fry will get eaten. Whereas with these guys, I find that if I leave some fry in, there will eventually be one or two fry that make it to um, a mature stage. So there are there is one or two fry still in this tank here and um, with the parents um, and they both really look after them really well. So these guys are great, great parents. Also same, non-aggressive and um, pretty um, easy to care for. Um, I don't find these guys to be aggressive at all. So this is my Master Eye Gold. Um, again, straightforward, easy to look after, easy to care for. Um, same thing where um, if you don't remove the fry, I find them to be um, excellent parents, um, especially the male. Um, normally you would see a male um, eating some fry, but uh, this guy never has. Uh, and yeah, very, very easy to turn straightforward to care for. Um, again, uh, non-aggressive. I must, I must uh, let you guys know that this guy, these guys are extremely non-aggressive when it comes to spawning. Now this guy has killed a female before, but I don't think it was his fault. She was just a lot weaker than he was. Um, but yeah, again, non-aggressive when it comes to spawning. So this guy here is another um, variant or color morph of the um, Mug Master Eye. Uh, he's, again, non-aggressive. Um, he lives in a community setting. Um, He's never aggressive towards any other fish, uh, and he kind of bosses the tank about. Um, they're a bit bigger than a Kakatoides variant, so um, as you can see, this guy here is pretty big, uh, and Mars over here is pretty big. Um, he's fully grown now, and then Osiris or Big O below, uh, he's still growing, but again, they'll get to about this size. Um, so they're a bit bigger than a Kakatoides variant. Um, so if you're after a bigger fish for your community tank, um, this guy would be the way to go. 
just wanted to so I just wanted to make my point about them being um, great parents. This is uh, one of the fries that's uh, survived in their tank, as you can see. Um, he's really non-aggressive towards him. So they're really, really, really great parents. So um, for care, um, I would say uh, the first uh, epistogram you want to go for is uh, Acacatoides. But for breeding, I would say definitely, definitely, definitely with Master Eye. I've had 10 times more um, success with Master Eye than I have with Acacatoides. And that might just be just me and that, that might be what's going on. But um, I find that these guys are 10 times easier to breed. So those two um, variants are pretty similar. So uh, non-aggressive, the only difference is really the body shape um, and the colour morphs. Um, Breeding-wise, I would definitely go with a master right over uh, Kakatoides, just purely because um, they're easier, in my opinion. In my opinion, so I stress in my opinion because um, this is how I have kept them and uh, what my hobby is showing me. So the last variety of um, epistogram I have in the fish room uh, is Agazizii and Agazizii variants. Um, so there are four different Agazizii variants or have Agazizii in them. So I have this guy, I have my Aviatis, I have my uh, Elizabethy, which I'm going to show you guys. And I'm just going to go through exactly the difference between them all. So this guy here, um, very aggressive. Um, Agus Easy Eyes, I find them to be extremely aggressive and the most aggressive of all epistogramma um, variants that I've had. Um, so they're really aggressive towards the females, the males are really aggressive towards the female, and I've had no success currently um, with um, Agus Easy Eye in my fish room. Um, so I've been planting these guys up really heavy, as you can see from this guy. It's the most heavily planted uh, tank in my fish room. Now there is a new female in here with him now. Um, she is up the back there. She's settling in okay, but he's really being aggressive towards her. And um, we can go and just take, for instance, our um, Abbey Axis pair just to talk about aggression. So my Abbey Axis pair, these two here. Um, the aggression levels in these guys has been unreal between each other. Um, I had to separate them uh, when they first arrived, um, and then now they still haven't taken to each other. Um, now they've been with me for three months now. Um, I'm just going to continue to keep growing them out. But again, the aggression levels is um, unlike any other episto that I've got. So I really find that to be true. Um, obviously, my original female Hera uh, has killed off uh, two males now. Um, so that kind of shows you about uh, aggression when it comes to epistos. Um, but obviously I really only find that in the Agazizi variants. So last, but by no means least, is my um, epistogramma, um, Elizabethy Red. Um, this is again, uh, he's very similar to an Agazizi um, in body shape. Um, super aggressive with females. So he killed off his original female. In fact, he didn't just kill her, he pecked out her eye. Um, so super, super aggressive, um, super aggressive spawners. Um, so that's something that you have to take into account when you are um, choosing your epistogram. Make sure that you have a really heavily planted tank and um, when it comes to Agazizi or Agazizi variants. Um, hopefully this tank will be good enough for when uh, I get a, a female for him. But again, he's super aggressive. Um, but again, the colours are different in these guys. So, you know, the what I find is the more colourful the fish, the more aggressive the male is towards the female. Um, that's just something that I've noticed. It's a bit anecdotal. It's not something that's ever been proven. But, you know, that's kind of what I've noticed through my fish keeping. So, um, again, that's just my opinion. Um, don't take it as gospel. Just take what I'm telling you as what I know. So, um, that's the difference between my epistogrammas. Um, all of the variants that I have in the fish room and the new variant that arrived with me today. Um, so if you've liked this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Adam Dog and I will see you in the next video.